The search for a missing Mecca woman continues. Betty Jane Capps disappeared more than a month ago. News since Madison Zaleski joins us now live in our newsroom. She spoke with police and family members to learn more about the ongoing search. Patrice Rondrell, over the past week, the Mecca community has really stepped up, leading organized searches in hopes of finding the missing 68-year-old Betty Jane Capps. And I spoke with Capps' stepdaughter, and she says she's not giving up hope. We will find her, and I'm praying that we do. Melanie Capps is Betty Jane Capps' stepdaughter. She's teamed up with people across the community to find her stepmother. They went out with their four-wheelers side by sides, you know, down the rivers, anywhere in Mecca that we think she could be, then that's all been searched. Authorities say Capps was last seen leaving her home on June 29th, leaving with only a few items. The only thing she took was her wallet. So she left her dog at home, the house was unlocked. She wasn't going very far when she left. Severe storms swept across Mecca the day she disappeared. Investigators say power outages have made it harder to track her down. There were a lot of trees down, a lot of roads closed. There's a possibility maybe she was disoriented in the storm. We don't have the luxury of searching area like ring doorbell cameras or surveillance cameras. Indiana conservation officers have used sonar to scan bodies of water. Despite searching every way they can, Cap still hasn't been found. The areas we can't check from, from our vehicles or on foot, we check with airplanes and drones and there's been no sign of anything. Authorities are still unsure where Caps might have been heading at the time. Even though so many questions are left unanswered, Melanie says she won't stop looking for her stepmother. This is scary for her. It's, it's scary. And I miss her. I want her to come home. I want her to call me 10 times a day and annoy me. <laughs> I didn't know I would miss that. I didn't, but you do when you're used to something and then she's not there. I just want her home. There will also be a prayer vigil tonight in Rockville. It will be located at the Rockville Pavilion at 7 o'clock. Reporting live in the newsroom, Madison Zaleski, News 10. Again, Betty Capps is 68 years old. She is 5 foot 3, 180 pounds with brown hair and blue eyes. You see her picture there. She has a tattoo of a butterfly on her right leg. She was last seen driving a gray 2007 Ford Focus with an Indiana license plate. Please call the Park County Sheriff's Office with any information about her location. That number's on your screen, 765-569-5413.